Most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. What's up, everyone? Um, it's Adam here, and I'm here with you with a guest again today. Today it's Desiree. You may recognize her from the other videos on the channel. I'm not just a guest; <laughs> I'm his fiance as well. So, but um, but yeah, um, the last time I uploaded a beer video, which has been actually quite a while, uh, my buddy Jerry was in it with me. Um, sadly, um, he will not be able to be in videos with me anymore. He has quit drinking, uh, but yeah, I, I realize it's been a long time, it's been since August that I did a beer video. Alright, well, um, that's quite a long time. It is. <laughs> so, but uh, the reason it's been so long, and I think um, I'm going to make a little bit of a change, I think I'm going to be doing a beer video at this point, um, only once a month, because that way I can like save up throughout the month or like buy individually like a couple beers because some of these beers can get expensive like this one was seven bucks this one's like four had another beer that i wanted to do with y'all with that one a little bit bigger than these guys a couple more ounces of beer but it was eleven dollars for the beer um it was a pumpkin beer by rogue you may know for rogue because you can buy them everywhere these two beers are a little more local type thing or that's not even actually a beer that's cider but uh Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and talk about these beers real quick. So, this one right here, this is Ninkasi. They're from, I want to say Eugene. Uh, yep, Eugene, Oregon. That's where they're uh, brewed and bottled in. This is an Oktoberfest, which is typically a Martzen. Um, <clears throat> they're going to be not so hoppy, but they're going to be more, um, more kind of like a multi-type beer. Sometimes a little bitter, maybe. Um, it says, crafted with Oregon, Oregon grown hops, this Oktoberfest marries Northwest ingredients with a traditional German style. Celebrated in the harvest, this light body beer has a toasty malt bouquet and just a touch of hop bitterness. Prost. Um, I was reading something earlier today on uh, um, <laughs> the Oktoberfest style of beer, which is a March, and I was just kind of doing my research on it. And... Uh, what I actually read in there is, as far as like a lot of American brewers, I guess, um, as far as Oktoberfest, it's the only true lager that a lot of American brewers make, which is kind of interesting. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so we're going to go in here. This uh, beer right, right here actually has an alcohol of 5.5% and it's got a 40 IBU. So it's, like I said, it's not going to be really bitter. It's not going to have that hoppy kick, but it's probably be in the right, right beer. It's going to be malty, maybe a little sweet. Um, I'll actually let her talk about this one because this is her choice. <laughs> it wasn't really my choice. I just saw it. But this is the Cinnamon Pear Cider from Atlas Cider Company, which they are a company local here in Bend, Oregon. Um, they have a lot of neat ciders. This says, uh, we called upon the great goddess of snow. What's that? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. We called upon the Greek goddess of snow, Kione, um, or Kion, Ki Kion, maybe That's something like that, idea. to forge a cider to combat <laughs> the bitter the bleak and yielding chill of her father's Borea Boreas, god of the north wind, winter season. Equipped with a quiver of cinnamon and spices, her quest began with a hunt to collect the finest northwest pears. In an effort of pure blasphemy to her father, she then pressed, blended and fermented. Oh, she then pressed, blended and fermented a drink in the perfect elixir that would allow us mortals to survive through the season. All right, well that's actually pretty neat. I'll let her finish talking about that, then I'll go ahead and give my. This is a six point nine percent AB. What is this? Alcohol. 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 And it's a twenty-two ounce. Almost. Right. Go ahead and finish talking about it. <laughs> You're the so, beer guy. I'm not as really said, into it's a 22, the beer 6.8%. Um, it's got a really neat, too bad the camera so far away. I'll see if I might be able to zoom in on it. Oh, I got a picture of it too. So there you go. It's got a really neat design on it. It's cinnamon pear cider. So um, it's probably going to be kind of like a, 
I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be like a apple cider, your traditional um, like apple cider, but it's got the pear, so it's going to have a little bit of a kind of a twist in the flavor, I guess. I don't know. Pears are, tend to be a little sweeter or less kind of like of the snap, the bite, the, you know, kind of sour, I guess you can call it to them. Um, it may not be as dry. I don't know. We'll see. It says, core mission, keep it local, fermented from 100% Northwest fruit. Um, give back to Northwest charities and causes and family owned and operated. Um, so yeah, they got a Facebook and Instagram and a lot of stuff. I'll make sure I link all that down in the description below for this stuff. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty good thing. So, why not? Sorry guys, I'm not the beer person. You can't believe he is. <laughs> I drink my fair share of ciders and other drinks like that, but he knows the information a whole lot better than I do. So, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of do a little pre-opening estimate of these. So, I already said, I think this might be a little, it's going to be, I think, fairly malty, maybe a little sweet to it. Um, it'll probably, um, I think that's going to be a really good beer. Um, my thoughts on the color, I can already see from out here, it's going to be kind of lighter in color. Maybe like a dark amber probably so and that one you can already see so uh let's go ahead and actually get a crack into these guys so i'm gonna use this little opener here Got one, the same too. Oh. you can't twist it off no you can't twist it off it's a micro all right, so that's bubbling up, kind of like a champagne. -y. So I'll pour this one first. Smells really sweet. You can definitely smell the pear and the cinnamon in it. it didn't even have to be anywhere near it. I mean, actually, nope. it's a lot of lot lighter color than I thought that one was gonna be. It's like I'm kind of scared to so, <laughs> taste in the coffee. That's actually pretty. Neat. So let's go ahead and take a sniff of this one. I think I might I taste this one first, so let's see. Definitely, you can definitely smell that. It smells almost kind of like an apple pie almost. Um, the pear, I think, is going to be a good These, addition to it. Yeah, you can smell the pear over the apple. So go ahead and give this one a taste. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's a... Uh, not not very dry like a cider would be like i said got it a good sweetness good. tastes kind of like a champagne and it's a really subtle cinnamon to it that's actually really good kind of kind of feels like uh if they were to make like an apple cinnamon fireball what i'd like it to taste like yeah i agree with you on that one it's the perfect fall drink i think as far as ciders go and it's perfect that's pretty good hmm. all right Let's go ahead and let me cleanse my palate real quick. So, neutral beer. Alright, so let's see. So, uh, this one, right here, this one is. I don't really smell anything, honestly. I smell a little bit to it, but not. it's not too. Hmm overpowering like some of these beers so i don't know i don't smell Usually anything it just kind of smells you, you kind of get a uh beer smell but it, it's kind of interesting all right so i'm just going to go ahead and give it a taste a little bit of hoppiness yeah. to it not, not too horrible heavy. um no it doesn't have sweetness it's a. Uh, it, no not not too much it's actually kind of hoppy it's not a bitter horrible hoppy but there's a not as much maltiness as i thought i would 
different. So yeah, cool. this one's definitely not for me. For me, it's too much on the hoppiness. A little bit too. That's uh, It's still not a bad beer. I mean, it's a good beer. I like it. It's really good. Um, really wish I'd gotten that pumpkin one. That one would have probably been a good one to taste. But anyway, um, uh, the, and speaking of that whole, like, wish I'd gotten the pumpkin one, it's like, really, the reason we're going to have to cut it down to, because can't afford to buy it all. I mean, if you guys would like to help with us being able to bring you a beer tasting video, maybe I might be able to get some from somewhere else. Um, we have a Patreon. You can go ahead and check out Patreon. Um, start uploading all my videos there. I'm trying to push that a little bit more. Um. I got some new things going with the channel. Um, <laughs> I've got the so, uh, for our videos. I've got I just made some new cards for um, end cards for our videos, which are pretty awesome. You're going to be seeing them in this video probably right now as I'm speaking, actually. Um, <laughs> and then I'm also working on some new intros and stuff like that. Um, don't forget to check us out on social media. We both got Facebook. We both got Twitter. Um, yes, mine's the compendium. Uh, which some of you may know, and then they'll all be linked down below. Mine's it's seventeen hundred somewhere, but it'll be linked down below. So don't ch don't forget to check us on um, social media. Uh, our Patreon is the same; it's going to be linked down below. There's also going to be a quick button to get you straight to our page to you know at least follow us. And then um, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, Y'all have yourselves a wonderful evening. As always, this admin waiting for her to. And do depending on where you guys at, stay warm. I know here in Oregon it's pretty chilly and raining, but well, wherever you guys are at. Crap on my way, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is admin. I'm Desiree. Signing up. Y'all have a good evening, and make sure it's 1700 somewhere. <laughs>